Today I'm diving into Mesh AI, the best revolutionary text to 3D AI tool on the market. As a solo developer and a beginner prompter, I'm about to show you how Mesh AI is completely transforming my workflow. Normally, creating a character for a game would take me 12 hours. I can now create that character in just one minute. You can try Mesh AI for free, link is in the description. So I just started a new project in Unity for my game and first I needed to create a character for the player. So first I got myself the Pro Plan which gave me 1000 credits per month for free with cry button presses for meshes and textures and also rigging of the character and animations for zero tokens. Then I started creating a new model and because I'm a beginner prompter I asked ChatGPT to create a prompt for me. After a click generate which cost me 10 tokens, Mesh created 4 models. Because I wanted to have multiple characters to choose from, I found the cheapest way to generate multiple player characters is to generate four models, texture the best looking ones, then click free retry button which generates four more models for free and texture multiple ones again. I did this two times and got six usable characters to choose from. For the main character that the player is going to start with, I chose this one because it's the most detailed and in my opinion the coolest looking out of all of them. The character has also a weapon which will be very easy to remove inside of Blender. The reason the character got generated already holding a weapon is my fault because I didn't add the no weapon keyword inside the prompt. And we also don't need the character to be in the T-pose because we will be rigging the character and adding animations by using the Meshi AI tool. Next we needed to remesh the character, which will improve the performance of the game by reducing the number of vertices for 150,000 to 5,000. Next I simply rigged the character by selecting the chin, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees and ankles. And by clicking confirm, the AI generated a rigged version of the character and already added a walk animation to it. By clicking add animations button, there are also multiple animations that we can add just by clicking a button. The animations I decided to add to my player character are walking animation, unsteady walk, triple combo attack, swap Watch out, skill 3, skill 2, skill 1, simple kick, running fast, listening gesture, left slash, idle, double combo, double blade spin, dead, combat idle, be hit fly up, jump attack, attack stance, attack and rise animation. And that's it, our character is ready to be downloaded and added to our game. This process which would normally take me weeks to make, took me around only 10 minutes using the mesh AI. Alright, so we got our character, now we're going to need a simple platform for the player to stand on, so we can start creating our player mechanics. For this I decided to abandon the idea of using ChatGPT and try to enter very simple short text. In this case, I entered masterfully crafted fantasy ground of hell, comma, ground platform. And this is what the AI generated. We'll be using this platform as the starting arena. In the arena, the player is going to have to defeat all the monsters to progress to the next level of the arena. Once the player defeated all the monsters, a portal to the next level is going to open. I created the portal by using this prompt. On the other side of the portal, we'll be adding a visual effect inside of our game, so the portal is going to be looking even better. Alright, so we have the starting platform. Next, I decided to generate some monsters that the player is going to fight. First I needed to create some golems by using a very short prompt and because I wanted to get as many different looking monsters as possible, I again decided to use the cheapest method to generate them. I generated 6 different textured golems. Next I wanted to generate some skeletons using the same method, creatures, plant creatures, a snake, demons, flying creatures, dinosaurs and some bosses. In total by using the cheapest method I generated 38 different monsters that I will be using inside of my game and I still got some credits left. For the decorations of the arena I decided to generate some walls and some rocks. By using Mesh AI, I saved multiple months of work and created it in just one hour. And I still got 90 credits left. In total, I generated 62 objects that I will be using to create my next game. The biggest thing I regret while using Mesh AI Texture 3D is that I didn't plan in advance how many objects I will need and for this reason I didn't choose the max plan, which would give me 4000 credits per month. With the pro plan, I got a lot of objects to use, but the game that I'm working on would need at least 3 times more objects. Sadly, Mesh AI doesn't allow you to upgrade to a bigger plan while a subscription is still active. If I wanted to get a thousand more credits I would have to buy them individually which would cost me $32 which is $12 more than I spent on the pro plan. If I chose the max plan from the start I would get 4000 credits for only $60 which would allow me to create enough objects to finish my game. I hope Meshi will change this in the future but overall Meshi is an amazing AI tool that shortened my development time significantly and I will be using this tool for all my future games and I'm looking forward to find out how this tool will improve in the future. So thank you so much for watching if you'd like to see more videos like this please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.